because I know that you are destined for greatness. But that which we focus on ultimately is that what will multiply. So if we're multiplying positive behaviors, our stock is gonna rise. If we're multiplying negative behaviors, our stock will decrease. But the choice now is up to you. Welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today I'm excited about the opportunity just to share how we can identify where we need to grow, but ultimately how we can take the actions to do just that. So I had the opportunity to participate this past weekend in the Durham Success Summit. Shout out to Dr. Derek Rhodes. Uh, shout out to Miss Carolyn Rhodes. Shout out to everybody else on the team who made it all happen because this was one impactful day was the hashtag we were using. And there were 20 plus phenomenal feature speakers uh, from doctors to people who have nonprofits to individuals um, like myself who just have a true passion and a true desire to impact and serve and support this next generation at a high level, specifically of African-American young men. So it was, it was amazing and it was a really beautiful thing. And we had the privilege to do it virtually just due to you know where we are right now um, with the state of COVID and things like that. However, that didn't stop the momentum, that didn't stop the fun, that did not stop the excitement at all. Uh, and one of the things I heard this past weekend really inspired this particular thought. And, and, and I thought about how can we identify the strategy to begin to align ourselves with what we desire to accomplish. So if you have a piece of paper, um, if you're somewhere to where you have your smartphone, well, you have your smartphone, wherever you are, you have your smartphone. Um, but I want you to just grab a piece of paper and I want you to write down this let me get my board those of you who are watching us on youtube we see we have it say three by three by three okay so the, the reason I wanted you to write that is now I want to separate each of these particular areas. We're going to draw a line in between each. And then for the first area, that's going to be our strengths. The second area, that's going to be our core beliefs. And the third area is going to be our area of opportunity and the reason I call it area of opportunity because I don't I don't like the term weakness and I like to always keep the positive perspective whenever we can which is always so therefore we don't have any weaknesses it's just an area of opportunity an area we don't focus on as much so now I want you to begin to ask yourself what are three areas that I'm strong in and I'm fully aware? Is it the fact that you show up and you go to class early? Is it the fact that you always overdress for situations and people say, man, you look sharp or young lady, you're really, you're, you're really glowing, you're beaming, you look phenomenal today. Like, is that something that you do often that would be considered a strength? Is your strength the ability for you to communicate effectively uh, as a leader? Is it the fact that you have an athletic skill to where you can help other people in this way or that way? Right. So what are three strengths that you have? Then the second part would be what are three core beliefs? Right. Some people like me, one of my core beliefs is integrity. 
and its integrity because I realized a long time ago when I got caught up stealing from grocery stores. I got caught up uh, taking stuff from other people that I had no business taking. And then I had to pay a price for that. But ultimately, being able to see that, I believe in integrity. I believe that if you say you're going to do something, then do what you say, right? Do what you say, period. So what are your core beliefs? Is it be respectful? Is it be on time? Uh, is it be educated? When we begin to identify these core beliefs, these then ultimately determine how we'll move and how we'll progress forward in different areas of our lives or how we'll move and how we'll communicate with other people. Because if you ultimately believe that I should be respectful, then you're gonna show respect to anyone and everyone despite what their response is to you in times to where they might not wanna show respect. But you'll still say, well, I believe in being respectful. So I'm going to be the bigger person and I'm going to show respect in this situation, even though I don't necessarily desire to. And then the last part is area of opportunity, area of opportunity. For instance, some of us might be out there and we might have a terrible attitude. We can just be honest, right? People have told you your sportsmanship is lacking. People have told you that you don't respond to emails on time. People have told you you don't respond to text messages. Or you've even been the person who said, who's, who people say, you don't even respond to comments on Instagram. You don't tweet nobody back. You big time, right? So understanding these areas, I want you to take some time today and just identify the three by three by three. And identify what are your strengths? You need to know what you do well so you can continue to do that intentionally at a high level, right? The second piece is what are our core beliefs? What are our core beliefs? What do we stand on even when we don't feel like it, right? What do we do knowing that it's necessary because that's how we were brought up. That's how we were raised. Got it? Got it? Good, good. And then lastly, the area of opportunity. What's your area of opportunity? What's something that you've been saying that you've wanted to do, but you haven't done just yet? You still have time in 2020, my friends. So I want you to be encouraged by that today and just take time and sit back and self-reflect because that's when we do our most growing is when we self-reflect. So the question on the table is now, Based on the information that I share with you today, based on this, the three by three, the strengths, the core beliefs, the areas of opportunity, based on this, how will you apply it into your life? If you know that an area of opportunity for you is taking time to sit down and study, are you going to study? You have a few more days in this week. We, we started off a fresh month right? If an area of opportunity is working out for you, like me and my wife did last night when we did a lunch midday workout and my arms are sore right now, that's an area of opportunity for your boy. I used to love working out, but now me working out does not pay my bills. Me working out does not uh, ultimately help me in regards to generating revenue, but me working out is essential for my health. So that's an area of opportunity for me to improve in the health category, right? So what do you do really well with your strengths? What are your core beliefs? And the last part, where is the area of opportunity or the areas of opportunity? Friends, you can do this. And I believe in you because I know that you are destined for greatness. But that which we focus on Ultimately, is that what will multiply? So if we're multiplying positive behaviors, our stock is going to rise. If we're multiplying negative behaviors, our stock will decrease. But the choice now is up to you. Friends, we're about to go ahead and get out of here, but I want to encourage and remind you to connect with us on all the social platforms. You can follow me. Just type in Jonathan J. Speaks and then I should pop up at the top of whatever platform you search on. And of course, you can find us on JonathanJonesSpeaks.com forward slash beyond. 
And we would encourage you, if you have an iPhone, I know everybody does not, but if you have an iPhone, I would love for you to leave a helpful review on the Apple Podcast app. Just type in Beyond the Ball with, press enter, pick the icon, and scroll down to the bottom, and just click write a review. We would hope it'd be a five-star review. Um, but ultimately, we would love to hear your feedback, love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, and all that jazz, because ultimately, this platform is created for you, the student athlete. This platform is created for you all in the athletic department on your college campuses. This is all for you. I just wanted this to be a resource to where we can share stories, strategies, and success. So with that being said, until next time, my friends, right here at Beyond the Ball, where we desire to help you succeed beyond your degree. I'm Jonathan Jones, and this is Beyond the Ball.